Hello everybody, it is August 22nd, and it's a Monday. I hope your weekend went good. I got lots to talk to you about, so sit back, eat a snack, listen, and watch. The reason why I say watch is because I'm going to be showing you stuff later on in this video, so you may you, you have to look at your screen. Okay, let's get started. The Olympics, the closing the closing ceremony of the Olympics were last night. Did anybody watch? Team USA is number one. We got 121 medals. Ooh, -hoo. Team USA. We beat out Britain. We beat out a whole bunch in Japan. I think Japan. We beat out a lot of people. Now. This part hits close to home because this is where I work and this is where I live. Ohio State, Ohio, OSU's Kyle Snyder is the youngest athlete, and he won. Um, he won uh, some medals. I thought I had the number down, but I don't. So, and then I looked that part up. I. I do as many notes as I can. So that's the Olympics. It was, you know, it was good. And uh, I was watching the Today Show early this morning, and I I seen that Kathy Lee and Hoda are back together. You know, because they were, you know, the Today Show. See, Kathy Lee and Hoda, they do the third, they do the fourth hour. Well, when the Olympics were on, they wasn't together. Hoda was in Rio, and Kathy Lee was working where she lives in New York I think so this was their first day back you know doing the for, doing the fourth hour it was a good show so um, yeah so Team USA mm -hmm. Ben Mittler tweeted about the Olympics you can look that up on on Facebook and Twitter so she was watching and I watched off and on as I said in my last video um, I don't I would never I would never be an athlete the only thing I have in common is the food you know eating eat, eat a lot so but uh, I would love to do reports on it maybe in 2020 we'll see we'll see what that brings hopefully they're watching now we're gonna we're gonna talk about Mariah Carey now Mariah Carey my favorite song of Mariah Carey's is all I want for Christmas is you hopefully I don't get sued for singing that part I mean, you know, you gotta buy lyrics and you gotta get permission and all that stuff. So hopefully I can sing that part. If I can't, then I'll pay. But anyway, um, I've not seen any of her concerts. I've not, I mean, I've not seen her in concert. But I, I know she puts on great concerts because America, America loves her. I mean, multiple generations love Mariah Carey. I mean, she has a, you know, she has a yacht, she, you know, she, she's doing things in Vegas next year, so she's, you know, popular. Um, I love her, I think she's, you know, she is gorgeous, and she's beautiful, beautiful, and she, you know, she might be a diva, but you know what, people, some people earn the right to be a diva and a diva. I mean, they work hard, and, you know, they treat the right people with respect. You know, I can send myself a diva, and to certain people, I am. You know, certain, you know, but I, 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 I work hard. You know, I, I, I also know how to be respectful and have manners and respect my elders and all that stuff too. So, you know, there's a mixture of that. And I think anybody who can do that can mix the two and can balance the two has earned the right. You know, especially if they work hard and, you know, they, they, they made a name for themselves. Like I kind of have with uh, my company and with these videos. Feel free to leave me comments, you know, leave me a comment, t tell me what you think, be respectful, tell me what you th think, like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and, you know, let's, let's connect. Or you can connect with me on Facebook and Twitter. Facebook at Chris Michael Ward and Twitter at Chris Michael W. Okay? Just saying, I'll put that out there now. You can like, you can subscribe. I'm here for you. Sometimes I feel like I'm talking to myself. But I know you're watching because I see how many people view this, view my videos. Thank you. Anyway, back to Mariah Carey. 
uh, you know, I love her and I think she's beautiful and, and uh, I've not seen her concert, but I know she puts on great concerts. Um, the View. Let's talk about The View. The View. Whoopi. Whoopi Goldberg. Joy Behar. Raven Simone. Kansas Cameron Bure. Paula Ferris. The View. You know, it's next month, September, they're going to be entering their 20th season. Making me feel old. I mean, that show, is, that, I'm older than that show, believe it or not. Not the people on the show, but the, the, the show itself. I'm eight years older, and I feel like it. Um, tomorrow night on ABC, they're going to do a show called, or they're going to do a special, rather, called The View. 20 years in the making on ABC. Check your local listings. Uh, who's my favorite host of The View? Well, there's uh, there's Michelle Collins. I I forgot to list her in the thing, but Michelle Collins, The View Jew, as she calls herself. I like Michelle. Love Whoopi and I love Joy. I love them all, but those are just three of my favorites. Who do I miss from the past? Well, I miss Meredith. I miss Star. I miss everybody. Now, the people that stand out out of all the people is Meredith. I like Meredith. Meredith was the original moderator. Um... And then Rosie. I, I really miss Rosie, but I understand why she left The View, you know. Because when she was when she was dealing with all that stuff on The View, I was dealing with similar stuff on a radio show that I've already said so much about that it's like it doesn't even matter. But I will say I took I took things seriously. So that happened at the same time. But I miss Rosie on there. I understand why she left. I miss Rosie, and uh, I miss Meredith, and I miss um, Lisa Lane. So those are, those are the three people I miss. Um, the View Season 20 kicks off very soon. Um, rumor has been going around that Joy's leaving and Whoopi is leaving, but I think they all, I think they all um, are coming back. So... As I would say, don't believe everything you read because even the media lies. And I know I shouldn't say that since I'm in the media business. I'm not. I don't. I'm not saying all media. I'm saying certain ones. Okay. I don't want to get totally blacklisted, but the ones who have known to lie lie. I mean, what do you want me to say? When we should defend bad behavior? Never. As Mark's grandson would say, never. <laughs> Let's talk about fasting now. Um. I do fast. I fast a few days a week during the day, like I like I said in the last video, a few days, you know, just, just during the daytime hours, you know. I don't I don't fast like like, like you're supposed to sundown to sundown because I just can't. I get you know I get lightheaded and I just can't do that. I do what I can, but I fast it. I do fast and uh, but, but I also eat a lot. Like when I'm not fasting, I eat a lot. I snack throughout the day. I have big meals. You know, it works for me because obviously I'm not losing a lot of I'm not losing too much weight. You can see you can see I'm getting thicker around the face. At one time that was not the case. Ah, that rhymed. So you can see that I'm getting kind of thicker. You can I mean, I'm not that fat, but I mean I got thick a thick face and you know a thick parts of my body, but I'm not chubby. So I'm gonna do that a few days a week, and like I said, I eat when I'm not doing it. So it's not really you know I think I'll live. The last time I fasted, I had to I had to I had to eat though. I had to eat before the I said I wasn't going to uh, because I was getting lightheaded. So, like I said, like I said, in the Jewish community, fasting is part of the Bible. But I do this just because to keep myself kind of healthy, and I also exercise. I dance. I I like to walk. I love the treadmill. So, you know, I'm active. And I'm not. I'm active in the world. I'm active on on social media. Don't worry about me. I'll be just fine. Thank you for worrying. But trust me when I say, I'm still here. I mean, I'm not. I don't do it to lose weight. Like I say, I do it just to just to stay healthy. You know, and I only do it for certain. You know, certain hours. So it's not an all day, all night thing. Nothing to really worry about. Okay. Um. Uh, Bette Midler. Let's talk about Bette Midler's book. 
Bette Midler wrote a Bette Midler wrote a book in 1980. Well, it got reissued in 2004. I might have shared it with you guys before. No, I'm t no, I'm sorry. It didn't get reissued in 2004. It got reissued in 2014. Forgive me. It's this book, A View from Abroad. A View from Abroad. A View from Abroad. This is the this is the updated back cover. Now, what's different about this book is she wrote a new introduction for the book. She wrote a new introduction for the book, and it's this right here. This is the updated introduction for the book. And also the cover's pink. So, like I said, she wrote it in 19... Can you see it? She wrote it in 19... Um, she wrote it in ni she wrote it in two she wrote it in 1980 and reissued it in 2014. That's a picture of the original book signing that she did in 1980. Um, it's funny. It costs about 30 bucks. It's my favorite book on my bookshelf because I'm a bedhead. And uh, you can buy you can order this now at Barnes and Noble, Amazon, and buy the book. It's a great book. Okay. Um. So, and I love that book. It, like I said, it's my favorite book on the bookshelf, and I guard it with my life. Anybody who misses that book has to pay me the full money. I'm just saying, I don't play. Um, you, um, cleaning with white, cleaning with uh, white vinegar, and how to use it. Okay, let, look, I clean, I clean, you know, I clean my own house, obviously. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna help, but I clean. Um, and white vinegar, white vinegar. Here's how. Here's what you do. You pour it. You get a big jug of white vinegar. I don't have it with me on the studio, but you get white vinegar from whatever store you get your food supplies, and you dump it on the floor. You, you know, love it on the floor, on the floor, on like non-carpet floors, and then you wait 30 seconds and you wipe it up. Now your house will smell like vinegar, but in, and it will smell good. But, um, I love white, I love using this white vinegar. I love how it smells. I love everything about it. So, if you're a clean fanatic like me, use white vinegar. White vinegar and paper towels. You pour it, you let it sit for 30 seconds, and you wipe it up with paper towel. Like I said, you could do it on any non-carpet surface. Okay? Uh... I'm gonna call, I've talked to you about this before. My favorite pe my favorite beer out of all the beers out there, and I, I like them all. I like Budweiser and Bud Light and all that stuff. But my favorite one is Coney Island Brewery. They're in New York, New York. New York, New York. Um, I love their I love their beers. I love their well. They have it's like hard it's it's hard um. It's hard uh, liquor. Hard, yeah, it's hard liquor. It's got like orange cream, root beer. So you can buy that in. You can buy that the same place you white. You buy your white vinegar at a, at a grocery store or at a liquor store. You might look for it. I love Coney Island Brewery. Now, before I let you go, well, I got one more topic. But before I let you go, let's remember that today, today. In Bet Mittler today in Bet Mittler history for all my fellow bedheads today on today in 1979 the Rose soundtrack came out the Rose soundtrack her you know her, her first movie the Rose she played rock star some say it's based on Janis Joplin but she says she'd never admit to that to herself or anybody else um, it's a fictional character named Mary Rose Foster and the Rose soundtrack includes songs like Who Started You On, Stay With Me, When A Man Loves A Woman those two songs Bette Midler brought to the album Stay With Me, When A, when a Man Loves A Woman, Keep On Rockin', Sammy Hagar Sammy Hagar um, was the first one to come out with that song Keep On Rockin', Midnight In Memphis Sold My Soul To Rock and Roll and Love Me With A Feeling you can buy that album. You can buy that album, the Bette Miller album, now. It's been around since 1979, uh, and then it came out on CD. I don't know what year, but you can buy it on CD or on vinyl. I like vinyl. I don't, you know, I don't have a turntable, but I love vinyls, and one day I will. 
and uh, I'll have a Bette Midler vinyl, I have a Bette Midler vinyl collection. I got a CD collection, now I just need a vinyl collection, and we're all good. <laughs> World Enlightenment 2016. I've been talking about this all year long. Chant with me if you've been watching and, and you know the chant by heart, say it with me. One, two, three. May divine enlightenment descend down around everyone now. You can actually put that to music. One more time. May divine enlightenment descend down to everyone now. Boom, ba dum, boom, boom. <laughs> Somebody should record that song. Um. The uh, World Alignment 2016 it's definitely needed, let me tell you. Trump ain't, you know, tr <laughs> Trump ain't gonna be saying all this. That's for damn sure. Um, Kathy Bilski, I talked to you about her before. She's on Twitter, she's on Facebook. Um, she came up with the concept of World Alignment 2016. And look her up. Okay? I will be on Facebook Live uh, in September. I will be on Periscope in September. I will be doing two more videos in September. Um, like I said, please leave me comments and like and subscribe. Tell me what you don't like. Tell me what you do like. Tell me what uh, what what topics you want me to cover on future episodes. Um, don't know about October. Uh, it depends. If you guys want me to stay, if you guys want me to do more videos, tell me, and I may come back in. I may come back in October. If not, then I'll have to, you know, do something else because I I do this to connect. So connect with me on Facebook and Twitter. Let me know what you think, and con connect with me on here, my YouTube channel. Okay. See you in September.